Castro, would you date someone who's plus size? Say yes and leave. Um, I mean, uh, I mean, uh... Where is bro stuttering and sweating like Jack Bauer is interrogating him? Yeah, probably. I mean, it kind of depends, like, like, like how much, because, like, if it's, like, too much, then it's... Eh, too much? Bro is about to get cancelled. Should have listened to my advice and said yes and left. If it's, like, they can still, like, live their lives and it's, like, you know, they can just... It's just normal for them, then I, I mean, probably, if I like them. He is trying so hard not to offend. I can see his brain is doing gymnastics, trying to find the right ones. What's too much? Uh-oh, -uh, the trap has been set. The cheese is on the mouse trap. Just to the point where it's like, they, like, it just affects what they can do. And Ooh, he landed softly. Now leave. But to give a visual, am I too much? It's a trap, bro. Don't answer. Um. Be honest. Don't do it! Don't be honest! Don't lie! Just make like a tree and leave! I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how you live your life. So it's how they live their life and not their side. I guess, yeah. Wow! Bro's brain did gymnastic, landed safely, and escaped the trap. Would you date someone who's plus size? Ooh, it's a girl answering this time. It's plus size. No. Damn, she did not even hesitate. And why not? Because why don't you just work out? Oh my god, this girl woke up and chose World War 3 today! Like, are we talking like humongous or just like chubby? Someone the size of DJ Khaled. No. Why is DJ Khaled catching strays out of nowhere? Asad, you are going to sit there and watch them do your father like this? Khaled. No. You would take DJ Khaled. Not him, but like, not him specifically, but like... Damn, DJ Khaled is catching... Two extra rejections he did not even ask for. Asad, do something. They are doing your father. Girl, you're, you act like your boyfriend's like six pack. Oh, no, his height makes up for it. Uh oh, plot twist. Wait, your boyfriend's plus size? He's like a little bit smaller than DJ Khaled. Wait a minute. Her boyfriend is just a little bit smaller than DJ Khaled, and she's saying she will not date plus size. Is she the Lulu? That is like eating chicken nuggets and saying you are a vegan. For richer? For richer? For poor. For poorer. Ah, oh, she hesitated! She hesitated! For poorer. <laughs> Real made it very clear to Jonathan, you cannot be broke. <laughs> Bro, they are all laughing at your demise. If you ever go poor, you should treat poverty like your marriage depends on it. Because it does! To love. To love. Cherish. Cherish. And to obey. <laughs> Me, I like this lady because she is very honest. She is making it very clear before the marriage that she will not obey you and she wants your money. So if the man does not want that, he should do the opposite of Nick Cannon and pull out before the marriage. We didn't talk about that one in council. We did talk about that in council. <laughs> yes, we did. So you want me to repeat that again? You want to just keep going? I think we can keep going. <laughs> right. An honest lady that wants your money and she wants easy life. I like her, but I would not marry her. No, 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 no. I would just set her up with my enemy because I am not looking for somebody that will obey me. I am not traffic laws, but I am not looking for somebody that will leave me when I am poor either. This is my sister's breast milk. And it doesn't have a smell. Yeah, that's okay. I'm scared. Just try it. Hi, what do you mean try it? Just try it. And she's drinking it. Her sister's milk. This is going to cause some form of genetical mutation. Oh my god, chuck, this is chuck, so chuck, chuck, freaking chuck. gross. No, it's very natural. Drinking your sister's milk is not natural. That is the beginning of a movie where your sister is going to turn into your biological baby. Very health forward. Sorry, I'll, I'll try it again. Oh my god, don't do it again. The Lord saved you the first time. <laughs> That's so weird. Is it just weird or is it gross? No, it tastes real sweet. It's not sweet. She's trying to turn you into her next baby because she doesn't want to go through pregnancy again. I drink my friend's breast milk just to taste. Lady, why are you volunteering that information like there is nothing wrong with it? That is 3 plus 3 equals to 33. It is wrong. <laughs> just swallow it. I swallowed it. And she drank it. Jesus Christ on the motorbike. Well, let the mutation commence. How much do you think a guy should spend on an engagement ring? Free grandma's ring. I'd say at least like 100k. What? Are you delulu? How much do you think a guy should spend on an engagement ring? 
much do you think a guy should spend on an engagement ring? I think 10 times their salary. Lady, you want me to work for 10 months and give the money to a jeweler for a tiny piece of metal that I cannot eat or sleep in or sell for a higher price? Is my brain made out of metal? Yeah, it has to be in like the six digits for sure. Jeez, subscribe on the motorbike, lady. 18% of Americans make more than 100,000 before tax. And even if the men in that 18% buy a ring with it, most of them will owe the IRS and they will not be able to afford food. So they will be hungry on their way to IRS prison. How much do you think he should spend on an engagement ring? 250. 250? <laughs> nice. Yeah. Double G, subscribe on the motorbike. Lady, even if he makes 5 million, you are just giving the 250 to bling bling man who doesn't care about you. I definitely want a huge rock, so I'm gonna guess that it, <laughs> it probably cost about at least like $500,000. Mother of Lord, I did not know the Delulu was this strong out there. I underestimated the Delulu that is going around in this world right now. I'm out. We are doing the healthiest thing that a human being can possibly do. There is no such thing. We are outside in the sun, no sunscreen. Why is bro bragging about increasing his chances of getting skin cancer? I don't compute. No sunglasses, the full spectrum of UV light. Bro, if you look directly into the sun without sunglasses, Stevie Wonder will be mad at the Lord for giving someone like you ice when you don't know how to use it. While grounding in a natural body of water. Okay, that part is good, but still not the healthiest thing. This is freedom. This is independence. Well, that escalated quickly. How did we go from sunglass is not healthy to freedom with American flag? This is what the pharmaceutical industry does not want you to know. This is how you heal. Not all their pills that you pay money for. Gee, subscribe on the motorbike. So, bro, you are telling me if I have malaria, I should just go stand outside and heal and not take medicine. Are you the Lulu? This connecting with nature this is how we heal and thrive see he is right about connecting with nature but he is so wrong about the rest that i am going to contact xi jinping to take his tiktok independence and freedom away so i had a baby two months ago and i just got the hospital bill okay show us first thing is the labor room slash delivery room thirteen thousand nine hundred dollars was it a palace or a palace in heaven for that price it better be i got another bill that says room and board semi-private that was nineteen thousand one hundred eleven dollars wait they already charged you for the room now they are charging you for being inside the room what is next charging you for breathing the air in the room the anesthesia two thousand one hundred eighty one dollars so you either pay two thousand plus dollars or you take the pain so mcdonald's workers will pay two months salary or it is paid pharmacy twelve hundred ninety one dollars and thirty three cents did they already charge you for medication it feels like now they are charging you for the pharmacy just existing other diagnostic services that was a thousand one dollars what is that they are charging you for order in application forms the part you click when you don't know they are charging you for that and then i got a charge for the emergency room which was four hundred eleven dollars what they charge this lady three times for room jesus christ on the motorbike so if these people wanted they could just move you from one room to another and just keep charging you all those together thirty eight thousand seven hundred fifty seven dollars and thirty three cents jesus christ on the motorbike for a baby that baby better grow up to be nelson mandela or that baby will refund me Whew. i'm not done i have like three more charges say what Next bill is from U.S. Anesthesia, and they charged me thirteen fifty-six and sixty-eight cents. But 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 they already charged you for anesthesia before. At this point, they are just telling McDonald's workers you cannot have painless baby delivery postpartum care, and that was six thousand seven hundred ninety-three dollars. But you could hire a nurse to take care of you for like two months for that amount. The cervical dilator, which is the balloon that they put up there to induce. My labor, that was $385. And I bet they paid like $2 to make that medical balloon in China. In total, it cost me $47,292.01 to have a baby. Jesus Christ on a motorbike. At this point, is it even worth it to have a baby in America if you don't have insurance? No, it is not. I messaged a guy that I did not talk to for like eight years. This is not going to end well. Literally like hooked up with him like eight years ago. I will tell your grandmother. 
and I randomly thought about him. Like, you know, like when you're single at like 28, you start thinking about, oh, maybe from the past, like this is a good guy. Yeah. No, -uh, I don't know that. I don't hook up with guys. I am not Lil Nas X. First I messaged him, hey stranger. He said, sorry, who's this? I said, Leah Bars. And then when I sent Bars, it didn't say delivered. So I was like, did he block me? He blocked you quickly before you can tell him he has an unknown son from eight years ago. So make like a tree and leave him alone. I went to his Venmo and I sent him a dollar and I said, did you block me? Gee. Subscribe on the motorbike. Lady, I will not forgive you for this. You are giving me secondhand embarrassment. Then he unblocked me and said, what's up? This is random. And I said, well, why did you block me? He said, why are you texting me? I said, whoa, I don't know, to catch up. Said, catch up after eight years? Lady, this is not a saved PlayStation 2 game you can just come back to and resume anytime. Jeff, he's like, it's been eight years. I said, damn, I didn't know people couldn't talk again. My bad. He was like, I have a wife and kids now. Plot twist, my bad. He said, Think you're a weirdo. I said, right back at ya. Lady, why did you post this? Are you not embarrassed? Because I am for you. Thanos, Batman, the Dark Knight could not beat this information out of me. I can read minds sometimes. How? I have to really focus and you have to be really open to it. Well, that is pointless. People will not be open to that. I can hypnotize people when I want something. Then hypnotize them to allow you to read their minds. Problem solved. I will send you my invoice. A lot of these things come naturally to all vampires and some of them are learned. Hey, how did we get to vampire? We were talking about reading minds. Because I've come out of the casket, so to speak, and have come forward with my identity as a vampire. Jesus Christ, on the motorbike, the Delulu is strong in this one. I've spent many years on this earth and have encountered many different types of humans and other creatures. Lady, if this is true, you know we have to arrest you now. We cannot be allowing you to be going around milking people's DNA. Think what you want, believe what you want. If you don't believe me, that's fine. Mind reader, hypnotist, and vampire. Jack of all trades, master of none. Lady, pick a struggle. This is too many professions for one human. Oh, I mean, one creature. Start dating for money. Bro, did you upload this advice with Internet Explorer? Because people are already doing this. Here's your daily reminder to start dating for money. But isn't that just prostitution if they are only doing it for the money? Girl, you tried dating for love and all it has given you is trauma. Yeah, but the internet told me that people who dated for money and then went to Dubai to get the money got something worse than trauma and then got the trauma too. I've been thinking about this a lot and it's like, we need to take a different approach. Yes, and the different approach is don't date. Dating is like weather in England. Even when it is good, bad is coming. Dating for love will literally leave you with trauma for like five years. Yeah, but when you date for money, the things you have to do to get that money will traumatize even your ancestors that are watching you from above. Date for money. You're now a scientist. We're experimenting different approaches. <laughs> that is funny, but listen to my advice instead. Don't date people. People are crazy. I recently was going on dates with a man. And? And nice guy, good guy. Treated me well. That is good. But... Damn, there's a butt. There's a butt. Why is there always a butt? But once I realized that he was not my husband, because I'm only looking for husband energy at the moment, I ended things with him. Jesus Christ, on the bottom back. These days, being a good and nice man is not enough anymore. You have to be Duracell battery too and bring energy. Anyway, so I sent him a text, told him that I didn't see it going any further. Lady, you are hungry. The Lord served you with a good, well-cooked chicken. And you decided not to eat it because of the chicken's energy. You will starve. He agreed. He said that he didn't think that he could make me happy. And while I appreciate that, it was a very kind response. He didn't even try. For what? You didn't want him to respect your wishes or what? He didn't even try. He didn't even try and say that he like wanted to change, that he wanted to like whatever. Like, I can be manipulated. I will listen to you. But you didn't even try. Mother of Lord, she wanted the man to manipulate her. What type of twisted mind games is that? She thinks dating is PlayStation 5. Lady, if you want to play games, go and download Candy Crush and leave this good man alone. So I went on a first date with this girl. And? And then she asked me, 
Hey, what's your past relationship experience like? I hope you like it because first dates are like Instagram pictures. Nothing you see or said in the captions is real. I was being very honest and I told her, Ah, he messed up. And I told her, I've never had a girlfriend before in my life. Rookie move. And then she laughs a little and then she tells me like, Hey, you know, even my 11 year old cousin has had two girlfriends already at this point. See, that 11 year old cousin is lying. Like all teenage boys lie about their John Cena girlfriend that no one ever sees. And we get home, I message her. Uh, hey, I had a good time. I'd love to see you again. And she never responds. And then I take a quick look at her Hinge profile and I see that she's updated one of her prompts. My most irrational fear is being someone's first girlfriend. Damn! 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 Well, at least she said irrational, so you know it's not your fault, at least. Should a guy always pay for the first date? If he wants to. One, two, three. Yes. yes. That's fine. Should a guy always play in the first date? Yes. One, two, three. Yes. Hey, we agree. Let's keep this going. When a guy meets your friends for the first time. Yes. Should he pay for all your friends? Even if there's like four of them. No. One, two, three. Yes. yes. What? Are your friends charity cases? Am I UNICEF? Why do I have to sponsor your population of four? This is not FEMA and your friends are not natural disasters. So they get deadly squat from me. What if one of your friends orders something that I cannot afford? Am I supposed to be paying for somebody that will one day be telling you, girl, you can do better than him? No. The only people that I give money to against my will is the IRS because I like my freedom and your friends cannot take my freedom away. So no. One, two, three, yes. yes. I lost my virginity to a ghost. How? And so, I was living in an apartment with my mom. Bro, you just made your mom suspect number one. And it was super haunted. I always feel uh, like the hairs in the back of my neck standing up and things like that. Then why did you move out? You think your life is a movie and you are the main character or what? Yeah, we moved into this apartment and it was really haunted. And this ghost started appearing constantly. If the ghost appeared for the third time, and you are still there. The ghost will think you guys are dating because why did you move up? And one night she came into the bedroom dressed in her white dress and she got on top of the bed and... Damn, I thought this was going to be funny but the way he just said that right now made me feel sorry for him. Now I don't want to make a joke. Bro, I am on your side now. Give me that ghost address. Let me go arrest him. Oh ha. I unfortunately don't see her anymore. Damn, again, the ghost ghosted him? Sorry, I was not supposed to make jokes, sorry. I am just going to leave now. This is no shade, but... Ah, there's going to be shade. But if you're an adult wearing a backpack, you're not doing good. See, I knew there was going to be shade. And you are wrong. Despite my backpack, I am healthy and I can afford 17 kilos of Nutella. So I am doing good. Like, I'm sure you're hustling. I'm sure you're on your grind. Damn right, I am. First thing you are right about in this video. You deserve a banana for that. Here, take it. But you're not like crushing it. Wrong! Give me back my banana. Nobody sees an adult with all their belongings strapped to their body and goes, yeah, that's a sign of extreme wealth. Uh, first of all, we do not need extreme amount of wealth to be doing good. Second of all, we use the backpack to go to school and work to be doing good. And that, wait a minute, why am I even trying to make sense to somebody who thinks your backpack indicates your amount of wealth? I am wasting my brain capacity here. I, you know what? I apologize to myself and my brain for entertaining this nonsense. I am out. I was actually once driving my date home. And? And she said to me, I don't need a man. Why did she say that? Any context? I said, are you sure? She said, yeah. I said, so get the f*** out the car. Well, that escalated quickly. I don't believe it, but go on. And hitchhike. Mm -hmm. Turned out, she got kidnapped. Is this story reaching for the heavens because it keeps escalating? And that's a great example of why women need men. No, it is not! Jesus Christ on the motorbike, what a terrible story! Even though in the history of things that 
did not happen. This is the thing that never happened the most. Bro, that his story it. Your story is hungry. Even if this is true, there is plenty of legitimate things a lady could need a man for. This is not one of them. The kidnapper is probably a man. The person that put her out the car. Man, and you are telling her she need man because... Ay, 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 ay. We started off our day with a couple bites of butter and then we had our decorated rot. Not even a hi or oh, how are you guys, just straight to munching Because it's Easter season guys and this was such a festive treat. You know? He is saying he is eating raw because it's Easter. Jesus Christ, I don't want to I am afraid to know what he will eat on Christmas. And then we had sauna steam room cider. Sorry, threw those in the steam room and they were done by the time I was finished. And I ate those and they were so delicious. That is bathroom cooked meat. I think this brother has beef, pun intended, with his organs. His organs are his ups, and he's trying to destroy them. Eat those in there, so delicious. After that, I was still a little hungry, so I had a raw testy egg McMuffin. With yeah, that is the only logical explanation here. He is Netflix, his organs are cinema, and he's trying to take them out of business. This is everything I eat in a day, not listening to mainstream health advice because- See? I knew he is not listening to advice because he doesn't like his organs. Advice because I am in fact quite healthy. Not for long. Soon they will start failing. My husband is currently on a date with another woman. And why are you telling us? So clearly he's going to leave me for her and my marriage is done. Oh, I'm sorry. Here is a banana. Except for the fact that I'm not monogamous and so this is the first time and nor will it be the last. I am Danielle. I've been open for about 13 years. God damn it, she tricked me! It's one of those people that allow it. Give me back my banana. I was just talking to someone who recently opened up her relationship and her husband's going to be away for the weekend for the first time with someone else. And what were my recommendations for her? Why is she asking you? She should be asking Adam22. He is the expert. I assure you, I am okay with being in an open relationship and my husband dating. Damn, what a lucky man. And yes, I date too. Damn, what an unlucky man. She tricked me again. God damn it, this lady is good. I will not fall for her tricks again. Tell me, lady, once and for all, what is the real deal? Yes, I date too. Jesus Christ, on the motorbike. What in the Adam 22 is going on here? What happened to the days when men were just hypocrites and do it, but don't allow their women to do it? What did you say? Nothing, nothing, just joking. Bye bye. How much money would it take for you to cheat on him? Don't answer that. A lot. Damn, that is a price. That is not looking good for bro. A lot? How much money would it take for you to cheat on her? Bro, don't answer, don't answer. Nah, there's no money. Huh, good answer because most men will cheat for seven chicken nuggets, but this is a good man, Savannah. This is a solid couple. How much is a lot? Would she find the audacity to give an amount after hearing his answer? Like, above 10 grand. Jesus Christ, on the motorbike, she found the audacity. I thought the audacity went for Titanic tourism, but this lady found it. The audacity. Above 10 grand, I mean, yeah, she could buy you some pretty nice things with that. Above 10 grand is just 10 grand, one dollar. That is like six months rent. So the landlord can come and say, don't pay six months rent. Let's shaka laka laka boom boom. But yeah, I hope this proves that men are kings. And, uh, but she's, I love my girlfriend. Sorry, your girlfriend loves $10,001 more than you. We're finna show you how to clean that iguana. To give him a shower or to cook it. And of course, you're gonna need your pair of scissors. To give him haircut or to eat it. First thing we're gonna do is go right there where the feet connected to the thigh right there. And we just gonna cut the cheese. Subscribe on a motorbike is to eat it, brother. Martin Luther King would not eat that. All right. You want to cut the tail off right there because you're not really going to use it. I'm guessing this brother is not trying to buy any meat in this economy because these iguanas are free in America. We're going to make a line all the way down to where I stopped on the tail. That is somebody's pet. He is doing like that. But then again, the chickens I eat. Some people use it as pet. Hmm. Just like when you're skinning a fish. Why did you go eat fish instead, bro? Is Joe Biden's economy that down bad these days? And this is how you properly clean the iguana and get him ready and get him prepped for food. Nah, bro, you tricked me in the beginning, bro. You said cleaning, and because this is people's pet, I did not expect you to be dismantling it for eating. Earl loops and ground beef. For what? 
Y'a nobody. Y'a ni try it. Try beef and cereal? No, we don't need to try that. I pour my cereal first, then I um, put the ground beef on top. Lady, like putting water and diesel in a petrol car, it doesn't matter which one you put first, it is still bad. Mix it up just like this. It doesn't matter how you mix it clockwise or anti clockwise, it is still anti human to mix beef and cereal. Like this. You don't need no milk. You don't need no milk. We are not going to lady. It's like telling us don't drink Vaseline. We, we are not going to anyway. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That mm -hmm, mm -hmm sound you are making is how your stomach is going to sound trying to digest this. Yeah, that right now. Yeah, yeah, try that. It's really good. Yeah, right. If this is good, then Justin Bieber is my biological mother. What is happening here? She is trying to confuse her senses into thinking she is eating chocolate so that she can enjoy the broccoli. Mm. I cannot tell whether this is genius or madness. Mm. This is the type of conundrum you put yourself in when you don't season your food. If she seasoned her food, she won't have to do this. She has to do this to feel a nice taste in her brain or mouth because the good food she is eating tastes like recycled cardboard. For what? To stay skinny or healthy? Nah, if this is what I have to eat to not gain weight, then I guess Lizzo is going to fire me from her dancing team. <laughs>